NEET 2017. Boy, the most hyped examination in the life of a student is here and it is fully and fully here. What you're gonna do? Yeah, get your paper, pen ready, put your full concentration. In this video, I'm going to share with you what you should be doing on the day of the examination, what you should be doing a little before that. And in the end of this video, I'm going to give you a mental stability exercise in which you can calm your mind and you can go in full power. Do this exercise, well, plug on your earphones and do this exercise a night before need and the very day morning when you get up, do it once each. It will empower you. It will give you the, the Shakti to go calm with good stability. Are you ready? So what is the first thing that you will keep in mind? The first thing that you will keep in mind is time management. Now, time management is important because there is limited time and there is negative marking. That's the stress. So you have to have a strategy, a plan in place. Don't just start solving the question paper. You should know ahead in time which question paper you're solving first. Is it biology? Is it chemistry or is it uh, physics? Strategy is important in terms of which subject you want to start first. So that you have maximum khatam karo minimum time. Mein. So, na sirf time bachana hai, marks bhi bachana hai. Avoid guessworks. Guessworks ko puri tarah se nikal do, because your guessworks can cost you marks because there is negative marking. So, at the end of the day, the winning child has not only got the right answers right. He has also not got the wrong answers. He's not lost marks in, in certain things. So your winning edge is not only going to be how much you've got right. Your winning edge is also going to be how many wrongs have you avoided, right? So time is very important. Plan, go and attack it uh, in that particular fashion. Now, here's another one. When you start solving, I always recommend start with biology and just finish it. Finish it at your fastest pace because it is theory. Then go to chemistry and then start physics so that you have lovely time to do physics. The thing that I kept saying all the time is physics is going to be a game changer. So in the last some days, what will you do? You have to solve more and more of physics and in chemistry, the equations and the numericals. Bio, I think you can go chill pill at this point in time because you have done a lot biology. Mein. Physics ke numericals mein ek cheez yaad rakhna. Options mein, aapke paas samjho options aare, 13, 4, 3.8 and uh, minus 4, right? If you get an option like this. to hamesha yaad rakhna jo extremes hai, uh, isko hum avoid kar sakte hai. Because in the last many papers, what I have noticed is, almost 80% of the questions ka extreme answers are almost wrong. So try eliminating that first, see if this is the answer. If not, then only go there. So that kind of saves a little time there. So your neat paper is going to have varying difficulty level, easy, difficult, complicated, twisty, lengthy, har tarah ka question hone wala hai. To question dekhte hi aapko pata chalna chahiye ki kis tarah ka question hai. And if it is a lengthy question, keep a mental note of it and reach there after some time. Don't waste time on lengthy questions. To aapka maksad kya hona chahiye in neat paper mein is to capture maximum questions, to capture maximum correct questions as early as possible. Itna ho gaya na to aapko bhi confidence aa jayega ki chalo ek ghante mein agar mera bio aur chemistry ho gaya, to great. To aapko bhi lagega na uh, I've achieved uh, something in that space, in that time. So uh, achieve, achieve more and avoid the negative markings, avoid guessworks. So the basics uh, of giving any examination will remain same. Just say reach the examination hall half an hour before, find out the center properly, find out your seat, reach there, avoid all sorts of group discussion. Uh, a day before, do not get into, do not get into anything um, which will compromise your mental stability. Uh, don't try to take up a new chapter. Don't take, try to take up a question which you think uh, was difficult. Stay fit, exercise, keep your mind calm, watch a sitcom that you were always uh, liking it, keep yourself at a very cool pace, hydrate yourself, you, you know, uh, avoid everything that will disturb your mental balance and stay in that happy zone. Don't do anything which will compromise your accuracy. Remember, every question has equal marks. So don't waste more time on a particular question. They're all equally marked, right? So it's okay if one question is taking a lot of your time, move to the another one, move to the another one, keep moving, uh, achieve more, and then come back to what you couldn't have or, or whatever, you know. Good luck, do well. All of us from here um, are gonna wish you good luck, right? All of us here. So we have um, your EP guy three wishing you all the best. Um, we have um, Saili, our ex-EP wishing you all the best. We have Prajna Devadika wishing you all the best. 
Sunit wishing you all the best and all of us put together uh, wishing you real good luck. All the teachers, all the moderators over here, Nandini, the designer, the chief designer, um, all of us together would wish you all the very best. Close your eyes at this point in time and uh, think of a time when you felt real peaceful and the real calm. Now, notice how easy it is to stay focused when you really want to stay focused. I want you to tell yourself that tomorrow is not only an important day in your life, but also something which will change everything forever on the positive side. And remind yourself that it's an important time in your life and everything depends on your mental hygiene and mental stability. Oh, I want you to go back in time to a particular point in your life when you were happy and you were really happy as a little child or maybe during your early school days when you had friends and there was so much of fun around. Look at the expression on your face. Increase the brightness so that you can see it much more clearly. Everything is possible. Yes, everything is possible. And it is possible because you are filled with possibility and creativity. As we were all born, we were so sure of everything being possible. As a child, everything is possible. And, and imagine that state, that state of calmness, that state of strength, and that state of resilience. If you could invite all of this into your present life at this point in time, I am telling you, you will be able to invite the strength that is important for everything that you want to achieve in your life. And yes, it's an important examination. And yes, it's a time in your life when you need every possible strength. And what better time than today to invite it and to call it from your past into the present as though it's a reality. You can do it. Yes, you can. And this is a good time to do it. I want you to remind yourself of all the strength that you have internally. As a child, everything that you did, which possibly people told was impossible and how you succeeded through all of that. Remind yourself because you want it in this examination. And really, when you get in that space, you will know it for yourself how possible it is. Yes, how possible it is. So in your mind, I want you to ask for blessings from your parents, from all your teachers, and tell your unconscious mind to help you remember everything that is needed in the examination. Tell yourself, instruct yourself and command yourself to help you, to support you and to guide you, especially during times when you have negative self-talks or fears or trials. Delete them from your system forever because during the examination, the positive mind is going to be very strong and that is going to be important for your success. And your strength depends on your positive talk and the personal image that you have up there. Have a positive image. Have an image right now of you writing the examination really confident. Being able to see a question paper which is achievable in terms of time and in terms of marks, in terms of quality of questions. See yourself writing this paper with much confidence and happiness and smile. The more you see it, the more it becomes a part of your real world. Believe in everything that you want to believe.
and delete everything that takes away your strength or your positivity. We wish you luck and real luck because it's all positive and it is all possible when you want it to be. Good luck. Best of luck. luck.